Okay, this is gonna be a 12 volt fan mod, so it also helps prevent the uh, red ring of death, as known on the older Xboxes, the E74, the three red rings. This is how you do it. As in my last video, I showed you guys how to open the Xbox. This is how we are going to uh, remove the fans, and this is already pre modded, but it's just gonna make it easier. So, you're gonna remove this shroud, which usually just pulls up. Now, on these fans back here, they are not so easy to get out. You're gonna lift up. And try and pop it out. That was not gonna let me try, so we're gonna try from this side. We're actually gonna try and do this together. Then. Okay, fans out. So lift up the fan. Now you're gonna come over here and you're gonna pop this tab up. And you're gonna pull. This is from the CD drive. You're gonna pop this out. That out. Now you get your fans out. Throw your Xbox this side. Now you're gonna take the plug that plugs into the motherboard and you're gonna snip this green and red wire. These green and red wires did come from the fans. Now you're gonna go into here and you have two holes, two empty slots. Where it plugs in is those two sides. This side actually goes up into the drive, and this side hooks into the board. Now, the side that hooks into the board, we're going to look at that one. This is how we're going to use it. You're going to cut the last wire opposite from where these two tabs are. There's two little tabs right here. Now you're going to take that, and you're going to splice that in half, and you're going to go that to the brown or red wire. It doesn't matter. You're going to splice that one over. to the. I have it spliced over to the brown wire. Now from the DVD drive, where you cut that wire, you're going to take that one, and you're going to splice that one into the other wire. Now after that is said and done, you're pretty much set. You're going to take your Xbox, and you're going to take your fans, and you're now going to reinsert your fans into your Xbox. I'd recommend plugging this in first. Plugging this piece in right here first. Taking your fans. You're going to push down up to the click. You're going to now plug this back in. You're going to take this and you're going to move these out of the way. You're now going to go like this and you're going to fish this bad boy back in there. Sometimes it doesn't always go straight down right away. You got to make sure it's all the way. Now that's clipped back in. Yeah, that far. Now this drive is actually, this is my hot swapping Xbox, so, um, this drive's already set for hot swap, but we're going to plug it in so you can hear the fans run. You can probably hear my other Xbox in the background. Now, a little something for everybody, even though you might have a new Xbox, they still have a chance of red ringing. That Xbox is actually a 2010 Elite, and even though it has a 3% chance of failing I still modded it this one has a 60% chance of failing and this is a 2007 this is their whole cooling apparatus change they went from just having this to having to put that on there to try and cool it and it actually didn't really help too much I mean it did but people are still getting the uh, three rings of death now you're gonna plug your Xbox back in yeah, put this one back in this one actually just recovered from a red ring actually just fixed it so it should turn back on now, we're going to turn it on so you guys can hear those fans kick on. And that's what those fans sound like. And Xbox now working too. Now both fans are spinning at 12 volts instead of the standard 5 volts. Because when the Xbox starts to get hot, they only kick up to a standard 5 volt. And a huge trick for everybody, it's called the Q-tip tri Q -tip trick. If your Xbox does have a three red ring, you can take a Q-tip and insert it in these two fans so the fan stops spinning until you get a two ring. That means your Xbox is overheated. You unplug it, let it sit for half an hour, plug it back in, and the red ring will be gone. Now, it's not a permanent fix. It's a temporary fix to get you back up and running. This one's got a permanent fix. This one has the X clamps replaced. And if you guys want a video, request it. I will put up a video. And... That's that. It actually, you can feel the air from here. It's actually really strong, and there's no heat forming on these either one of these heat sinks. So they actually run a hell of a lot better. And with the case on, 
It's gonna be a little bit quieter with the case. So that's without. That's with the case on. I don't know if you can even hear it. it's noise canceling on this phone, but that's with the case on. So. Okay, guys, that was uh, my video for you guys for the day of the modding of the fans, 12-volt mod. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.